All right. Starting out with a video here, as you do, because, um, well, I didn't uh, didn't do this on stream, but that's because it was taking too goddamn long, let me tell you. It's like, I think it's uh, entirely worthwhile to, to try and do, like, a little bit of stuff off screen here. <laughs> oh, well, well, uh, there's you get to that. Let's see when people actually get here, though, first. And then... The jump kinging continues unabated, with without it, un, ceasingly, unceasingly. No, not ceasingly, unceasingly. That's right. Do I actually have like a capture for jump king right now? Anyway, got a capture for uh, finding of Isaac still. Probably get rid of that. And Horizon, which is now Risk of Rain too. Okay, also get rid of that. Yeah, let's just clean up my OBS while I'm waiting, I suppose. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Actually, I don't know if I need that right now. I'll probably get rid of it. Um, Final Fantasy IX? Yeah, no, I can get rid of Final Fantasy IX. Feel like I have... I have completed Final Fantasy IX to... Should probably also get rid of this, like, display capture and everything, too. You know, uh, just not even have that on there. In case. Okay, I do actually have a jump king then. All right, good, good. Uh, da, da, anything else I'm going to want to get rid of? Oh, I feel like I've done pretty much everything I want to. Eh, Hades, I can get rid of Hades. I don't know, I'm not going to be doing Hades. Okay. Ugh. Ugh. Hello, yes, it's me. I'm, I'm here. We're, we're going to do We're gonna do jump king today. And also like the schedule thing, because... You know what's a good time for doing, like, the schedule thing <laughs> during Jump King? Which, by the way, we are starting out with uh, with video. Been watching Skull the Hero Slayer? I mean, it's only three episodes. It's not even all that long. Like, yeah, that's a good game. Also, I should be doing the actual run of that. But, uh, man, I've been up late and everything. So, I didn't. I didn't do it. I'm sorry, everybody. I failed you once again. As a Dead Cells player. Oh, man. I was watching Beals do some interesting things. Oh, okay. Yeah, fine. I guess that's fine, too. <laughs> sure, whatever. No, don't watch my series on it or anything. <laughs> got two things to add for the week? Great, because uh, we'll do it. But first off, we got to go watch this um, short, uh, what is it, 15-minute video? Yeah, roughly 15-minute video of me making progress in the video game. Pre-recorded uh, chat already. <laughs> I already watched yours and was there for the streams. I see. Fine. Whatever. I mean, I guess I, I guess that's enough, but I mean, you could just watch my series a second time, you know? You have a preferred time for stream? I don't have a preferred time for anything. I am wildly... My, 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 um, my, my time sleeping is wildly changing day by day. <laughs> Constantly. <laughs> Ugh. All right, all right, all right. Here, let's 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 just start off with the uh, with the jump king jump kinging, and then we can um, and then we can uh, uh, continue with that. Well, we're back, jump king. Yeah, I know, I know. It's it, it is jump king, but I did make sure this time that I actually made some progress. So we're gonna do the old uh, post commentary type of thing where I recorded uh, what is it only. It's only about 15 minutes of me actually getting somewhere in the game, and then we'll continue from that point. So let's start it up right now. <laughs> start that video. All right, yeah. This this was basically the last place that I ended off at, uh, kind of jumping along the top of this thing, which is actually, like, way easier than you might think. I don't know. It looks really, really scary. It's not. Oh, yeah, and I also did a couple things where I, like, chased that one bird around a little bit. I did end up looking that up, and apparently the boots that you do get are entirely cosmetic, which makes me really wonder, do I want to go back and get those? I don't know. Chat, you got any opinions on that? Do you really care all that much about watching me going and getting, um... No. You know what? No, I, I am not going to listen to you. It, forget about that. Uh, I'm not going to get... We're, we're going to finish up the game. Look, I'm going to become the king of jumps, and you can't... You, you we're, we're not going to take any sort of, like extra time out here to go and do like like non non jump king related things 
Becoming king of jumps is the only thing important. All right, wind and snow. Which, funny enough, it's like the fact... I think the developers kind of had a uh, uh, an idea that this was going to be a lot more difficult than it actually is. So all these jumps are really simple. It's like... I, I don't know. <laughs> like I said, this is like a 15-minute long video that I made. And it's not edited in, in any way. <laughs> this is just like... Hey, I got up here for... What, the second time? I recorded, I recorded like, one video earlier, but then I fell down all the way back to the, the Great Frontier area. And then it's just like, I got up here. And then it's like, this was my second attempt, and uh, I was successful. So, you know. Hey. Also, totally record this without music. Not that there's a whole lot of music in Jump King anyway, but uh, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> You know, buy this game when Winter Sale gets here and film platforms for the next year. I mean, I, you know, I, I gotta say, it's just like once again, I actually do genuinely enjoy like playing. I, I know it's 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 a funny rage game, but like I do genuinely enjoy like getting a um, to make make making progress in this. I mean, it's it is it is a game that it's like what I've only played for like ten hours or so and gotten I think most the way through it. I'm not entirely sure. It's not super long if you it's just very annoying to have you uh lose lose a lot of progress like that anyway so the big shtick here uh well yeah the wind's going but like i said because i think like the the assumption was that it, all these jumps are going to be a lot more difficult than they actually are you really don't have to you can just kind of wait for the wind to go and let it carry you and like all you got to do is just do like a full-sized jump and then, yeah, the wind will just carry you onto the platform easy. Even, like, the snow that you can't do uh, do jumps in is is not that big of a deal. Because, like, all you got to do is just do a tiny, tiny jump. And then you're, and then uh, uh, the jump knight, not quite king just yet. Not yet. Uh, pretty much it's, it's in a good position regardless. It's easy. <laughs> Don't do a full jump there. That'll have you bounce off the wall. Also, there's a bunch of, like, uh, ghouls in the background, which is interesting. Why? I, I don't know. They're there, though. <laughs> For whatever that's worth. This is, like, a little bit more difficult, but, I mean, you know, just do, like, a small, tiny hop with the wind, and that's really all you need to get. Once again, it's just like, yeah, this is like a... I don't know. I, I feel like everything that you did... It seems like it works for you rather than against. Well, yeah, I would say that. Hey, what are you talking about, Celeste? Celeste had a... a so the, the wind worked for you in Celeste. Don't you remember, like, the part of the B-side and everything where you would, um... Where you needed to go along with the wind, otherwise you would just straight up die? <laughs> I mean, look, well, here's the thing. Wind and platformers is usually, like, something that is absolutely... You know, totally devastating and terrible to have to deal with. It's one of the most obnoxious things, you know, aside from uh, uh, slippy slidey platforming in, um, yeah, the slippy slidey platforming or just way too many bottomless pits. <laughs> Something like that. It's, it, it, it's infamous. However, here it's just like in a game that's supposed to be like really, really obnoxious sort of platforming. It's not even that bad at all. It, it, okay, well, you do got to kind of, like, line it up. I mean, for me, I'm just, like, trying to get into the, uh... See, like, there's, a there's like, a little, uh... You can't just tap the button, by the way. You, you try to get, the, like, into that little divot there. Do a full jump when the wind's going with you. There. Done. Easy. And it's, like, the fact that the wind's going here with the deep snow actually means that you don't move around here. Yeah! <laughs> All right. Full jump up. I, I mean, it's a, it's just a lot of doing full jumps. You know, hold down the hold down the space bar until you automatically. Yeah, I'm playing this on keyboard. Hold down the space bar until you automatically jump. Then here, it's just like yeah, when the wind's blowing, bump yourself up against that, and then full jump when the wind's going the other way. There. <laughs> Not as interesting of an area comparatively. I mean, you had that one. Like, I haven't seen an NPC for quite a while. I guess you could count the um. The weird ghouls that are hanging around here as that. But, like, eh, I don't know if I would. There we are. Wind World and Snake Pass was hell. I mean, like I said, wind and slippy slidey ice worlds are just, are they, they're like, they're like literally the worst platformer things to have to deal with. 
period. <laughs> it's like any sort of loss of control, I think, is uh, is very infamous in terms of uh, platforming. Although there are some things like, you know, I don't know, inverted controls that I feel like is never particularly difficult to get used to. But then again, I suppose I don't really see them in, used in too many... Um, using too many like real hardcore type of platformers we're talking about just like a uh you know i think like donkey kong country or something which of course you know had a lot of gimmicks related to platforming but like donkey kong country 3 is one of the main inverted control type of examples for that who could be g noise for sleep that's right we're doing we're doing full-on uh asmr jump king uh, so, yeah, if you're, <laughs> which is exactly what I did in the last stream of this too, which is incredibly stupid. I can't even believe that. Look, 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 we'll go and get like some actual, I don't know, background music. Uh, I was doing the Celeste soundtrack last time I was playing this on stream. There's the end right there, by the way. Uh, you know, I was doing the Celeste platforming, uh, uh, Celeste platform, Celeste soundtrack last time that I was uh, streaming this. I'll just throw that on again or something who knows <laughs> as it is though it's like you know pretty much already more or less at the end here <laughs> and it's just like yeah it only took like one or two tries here it's just yeah I, like i said i think the developers had a, a thought that maybe the um the wind and snow mechanic was a lot more difficult well that's why we got the dlc don't we i'm not gonna do the dlc maybe i will do the dlc i don't know hard to say what happens to your dad tries to watch anime? Oh, well, first off, hey, here's a good time to talk about it because we're already back at the beginning of the windswept bluff, everybody. Here we are. Whatever. Like I said, it's not that hard. Oh, what happens to your dad watches anime for the first time? Okay, so I have finished Steins Gate. Um, Steins Gate is now finished. I have watched the first two episodes of Overlord. Uh, I still basically say so the same thing that I said before with... Um, with uh, Steins Gate, I feel like applies. Uh, uh, your your fifteen year old nephew probably gonna love it. <laughs> and then um, Overlord, uh, I, I guess kind of like talking about it. Um, I don't know. Uh, does like the MMO thing even matter in that show? I just don't really feel like it. I okay so. Yeah, I've only watched the first two episodes. Needless to say, that's not really enough to say too much of anything about, like, hey, what is the the actual series going to be like? But I gotta say that it's like the, 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 the isekai thing. The isekai thing about being trapped in the MMO or whatever. I, don't even, I still don't even understand exactly what a DMMO is supposed to be. I mean, I, I know what an MMO is, but what, is the, what does the dive part mean? <laughs> but, uh, uh, yeah, it's just... I don't know. It feels like a sort of show that could just be about a... Um, a gigantic skeleton man who is uh, who is kind of going through like a midlife crisis, figuring out if his his crumbling kingdom is really all that he ever desired in his in his immortal lifetime. <laughs> that sort of deal. Because <laughs> uh, I don't I, I don't know. It just does, it doesn't seem like I I guess yeah I don't know. It ain't exactly like a uh, the MMO part of it is not like a huge thing. It's no um Oh my god, am I gonna am I gonna do boomer anime talk here? Uh it's no uh, uh dot hack. <laughs> Pretty much. I wonder why they did that. I, I guess it's like that's the fantasy. That's that's like the sort of fantasy that they that they wanted to go with there. That it's like, hey, you get to be a, 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 you get to you get to be the big skeleton man and have the the big boob ladies around you. Isn't that cool, kids? <laughs> and I'm just like, eh, no, I don't want to be a big bone man. <laughs> I have no fantasies about being large bone man, <laughs> about being Nito, the first of the dead. <laughs> I mean, it, uh, it seems like a pretty raw deal, to be honest. Hello, Westu. Been a while since I've been around. Still love you. Also, Eins is my bone daddy. Eins? Irons. I've only I, like I said, only t first two episodes. Only the first two episodes. It is not uh, not anything too much to be said regarding uh, actual um, what I still I, I still don't really know exactly what the series is going to be. 
Like, they do a lot of talk, needless to say, about, um... They do a lot of talk about, uh, uh, the MMO aspect of it, but it also feels like, yeah, like, I don't even know exactly what it, what the, the dive part of the MMO. He doesn't get horny or hungry. <laughs> oh, no. How can you be a shonen anime protagonist without being horny and or hungry? Oh, what it do? Oh, right now we're watching a, a th this is this is pre-recorded footage before I get back to the actual game that I was just playing yesterday. I sort of expected this part to be a little bit harder and, you know, after like two other streams of doing it, I wanted to get some actual progress. So I just kind of like did it off screen and it didn't even take that long. But don't worry, we'll be we'll be getting back to we'll be getting back to um to uh, uh the the actual game like uh, in two minutes, basically. <laughs> Roughly about two minutes. Anime loves its exposition. Yeah, but it's like, I don't know. It just, it's like, does, does it matter though? Does the, it's, I, I just, I'm just getting a hard, I, I'm just getting a hard, um, a hard, uh, uh, it's hard to read that anime right now. But like I said, it's so early on that, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what I, I don't know. By the way, biggest twist of Steins Gate, I think, was learning that uh, uh, Okabe was supposed to be 18 years old. Like, that really threw me for a loop. It's like, wait, what? <laughs> this, dude's, this dude's like a teenager? Oh, man. <laughs> which is, um, which is, uh, uh, something. Yeah, I was waiting for that. <laughs> Yeah, because it's like I don't know. I thought he like I'm. I'm gonna be honest. Everybody in the sh in Steins Gate, I expected to be roughly about like five years older than they actually were. It's I don't know. Yeah, there's the bird, by the way. The MMO doesn't even become important until like book five, and the anime currently covers up to book three. Oh my god, that is way later than I would have expected. Bam, baby, I got it. <laughs> okay, but yeah, and needless to say, this is like a big checkpoint. Like, I don't think you can legitimately fall down from this point here, which is why it feels like a pretty good place to go return in. <laughs> also, look at that. 13 hours, 13 minutes, 13 seconds. Wow, what a good, what a good, what a good start for this, for this session here. <laughs> all right, everybody, let's get all up into it. Oh, but yeah, gold trinket. I do think that means that I can go get the, uh, I do think that that uh, means that I can go get to the, um, the, the, the boots. Though, like I said, I looked it up. They don't, they don't do anything, <laughs> but I mean, I, I guess I can do it. It's not, it was not as hard as I thought it was going to be. It's like jumping on the roof of the, of that first section seemed to be like the real, the real difficult part. And then like, you didn't. You didn't really fall down too easily, aside from... Yeah, whatever. Let's get to it, baby. Continue up for me. Legend had is it, etc. That is pretty pog. <laughs> I didn't even realize that was based on a light novel, but I guess... You know. Yeah, right? <laughs> okay. Okay. Where do I go from here, though, is the question. Can I just do this? I can. <laughs> okay. Well, this is already, uh, here, let me, let me pump up the volume a little bit. It's very low in this game, you understand? But yeah, it's like, okay, so inventory, I got the cap. No cap. No cap. I'm going to have cap on. And then I got the gold ring, which I guess is, is probably good enough to buy the, how am I doing this? Can I just do a... This is actually, like, very easy jumps, by the way. Huh. I suppose I'm not going to argue with it, right? Yeah? Or do I probably have to get on top of that one? Wait, can I just do a full jump from here, too? I can. Wow. These are, like, some legitimately easy jumps to be making. I'm kind of surprised. Where am I going, though? Up here. And then up here. Okay. 
Oh, oh okay, okay. At least got to do like a little bit more than that. Uh, but yeah, it's like, okay, so whatever this part of the game is, it seems like it is actually relatively fairly um, forgiving <laughs> for jump so far. Huh. Uh, not not so life, life novels. I can't remember where it was at the moment, but it's, uh, Jump King lore goes deep as always. Yeah, exactly. Um, the babe, the jumping kings. <laughs> They're all here, baby. Everything you could possibly hope for. So, there's like... Yeah, so I got like... How long would that be? Um, I don't know. I feel like what I should do for... Eh, not quite. I feel like what I should do for like the anime stuff is... I'll watch one season. And then if you want me to watch more than that... It's like, especially hearing that it's like, Oh yeah, we're on season three. And in season five... It will, um, it will start to, uh, kind of like change up a bit. Oh, well, we're already at the end of the cast, or the castle. We're already at the end of this place. Huh. Well that. Bruh. Ah, whatever. I can deal with that easy. Yeah, it sounds fair. I mean, to be fair, it's just like I should stop. I should probably shouldn't be like, you know, because that's just asking for people to be like, uh, yeah, go watch Legend of Galactic Heroes or something. You know, some ungodly long anime. Okay. Yeah, all I gotta do is just go hug that one area. And then actually do things correctly. What was it? It was full jump here. Full jump. Not there. Okay. No, it's full jump to the, to the left. I'm trying to remember this. This stupid physics puzzle that I got myself into here. Bam. Bruh. Okay. Season 4 has been in production uh, for two years due to COVID. Oh, okay. I mean, I don't know. I know. It's like, as of right now, I don't know if I'm, like, super... Uh, if I'm, like, super invested in it to be able to... To, like, actually want to go be like, oh, yeah, I gotta go. I gotta go, like, watch this to the end. Like I said, I'm, ha I'm even just having a hard time... Like, getting a read on the series in its entirety, much less, like, hey, do I want to commit to it for five seasons? Because as of right now, it's just, like, it is a lot of, uh, it is a lot of talk about, um, the MMO, which doesn't feel like it matters? Like, that's the part of the premise, I guess. To, uh, right, right, right. I keep forgetting the actual direction that I want to go here. Honestly, you want to watch Steins Gate Zero? I don't. I didn't like Steins Gate that much. What can I say? I'm sorry for everybody that likes Steins Gate. I didn't like Steins Gate that much. Okay. It, it, it did not it did not tickle my fancy. The, that is the phrase that I'm going to use. That is a phrase I'm going to stick with. Once again, I keep continuously forgetting. You jump left. You jump left. You jump right. You jump right one more time and then now we're up to the next screen. Shame, Doc. I mean, isn't the sequel to Steins Gate Chaos Head? And also, it's, like, not good or something? It's always what I hear. Bruh. Oh, my God. Ugh, even after the John Titor reference. But the John Titor reference is dumb. That's like, once again, that's like making an... I almost I almost jumped right again. <laughs> it's like making a, it's like making an anime based off of the time cube. Nature's harmonious six-sided time cube. Poisoned by academia. The MMO talk comes up periodically because I'm reminiscence for the 90... But for the 95% of the first season, just OP skeleton man learning about the new world. It's pretty great. I don't know. We'll see. I'll watch the one season, as I've said already. And then I refuse to go any farther than that. Unless you make me. Then I then I will. There we go. John Titor. I always thought that's how you pronounce his name. What can I say? Like, why? I mean... I don't, I don't expect it to be John Titor. What can I say? Uh... Anyway, speaking of academia, what? What do you mean, speaking of academia? Got it. Probably just do a full jump from here, right? 
We'll jump up. So, hey, remember I was talking about like slippy slidey ice world? I knew it. I knew it. I knew it was going to have to. I knew it was going to happen. Oh, man. How many seasons episodes does Science Gate have? Uh, 24. 24 episodes. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. So we really doing this, eh? Oh, Overlord Night Light Novel. Yeah, well, I'm. this is your dad watches anime for the first time. Not your dad reads light novels for the first time. That I refuse to do. I knew doing a full jump was not going to work. And also, I love that they... Yeah, okay. They, uh, that's that's how they plan to do that. Hmm. Okay, well, my, needless to say, it's like, hey, it's new content, baby. That's hashtag content. They tried to get me complacent by putting in a lot of areas that you just kind of full jump in right now. And then they don't. Was in this section a few days ago? I think... Uh, I've seen other people play this game. I want to say there's four sections to the end. We got the we got the Citadel of Ruin, or Chapel Perilous. That's what it's called because I can actually see the I can see the see the achievement in the background. Only ten percent of people have gotten here, and um, yeah, it's, it's Chapel Perilous, Blue Ruin, something, and then like finale, something like that. Little Witch Academia. I remember people talking about that. I, I guess it's cute or something. I don't know. Anyway, why don't I watch it? Because I gotta watch the first season of Overlord first, and then we can get into watching, like, later seasons of later stuff, by the way. You know how that is. But did they ever make, like, a Chaos Head anime? I don't even know. I, it's like, all I know is that it's just like, yeah, people didn't really... Can I go over here? Is there anything over here? Not really anything over here. Anything over here? Not really anything over here. Okay, then. Bruh. <laughs> yeah, it was worth checking it out anyway for the hashtag content. You can just watch the Overlord movies? What? Well, no, 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 because... Oh, my God, I've already forgot how to do this already. No, 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 I can't watch the Overlord movies because, once again, it's just like the, this is... It has to be something, like, free that is easily accessible, i.e., uh, on Crunchyroll, basically. <laughs> power of Nakama. Hey, if you want the Power of Nakama, you should be watching uh, Death's Gambit right now. <laughs> yeah. uh, that, game is, that game gets pretty hokey, but I still I love it so much. I love I love Death's Gambit. I wanna I wanna once again encourage everybody out here to go play Death's Gambit. That game is great. I can actually go put up the next episode right now, but I won't because you should be watching me play Jump King. I don't, but yeah, I don't think, I don't think the uh, Overlord movies are, mm. I don't think the Overlord movies are for free. I'd have to find some sort of pay service to actually go watch them. Which is true for like a, most media after all. This game is so dumb and fun. I love it. I, lo I love this. The, like the, the idea that, just the, the sheer idea that a, uh, that you know a an eldritch entity that feeds off of an eldritch entity that feeds off of um like pain and suffering equates to just the biggest most obnoxious troll imaginable it's like yeah that's like that's like more what you would think of a character like that being and also he only gets better in the uh, in the afterlife content so look forward to that <laughs> ah. Ugh. Netflix canceled the live action Beyond Boy Bebop. Oh no. What, what does that mean for all the other live action anime adaptations that they had in mind? <laughs> I did it again. <sighs> if only Jump King had the ability to walk upstairs. Well, he's the Jump Knight right now. He's, jump, he's not the Jump King. It was surprisingly quick though. Yeah, well... <laughs> It looks like just the entire arc with some fluff cut out and some bonus scenes. I mean, it's, I should just watch it. I don't know. Maybe I'll end up enjoying it. As of right now, like I said, I gotta say, I'm like, I'm not like super invested in um, like the main character might not be horny. The rest of the, the rest of the series is pretty horny though, with Albedo and whatever, Albedo and the vampire. 
Did you see the backlash of the season one finale alone? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's why that's why I, it's just like you know. Of course, that's how that's gonna be doing. I mean, I expected nothing less. For, I didn't expect that to be lasting too long. I'm gonna be honest here. I fully. Oh right, right. right you can't do a full jump there. I did not fully. I did not expect the uh, the cowboy beep. I mean, look. It's just like cowboy bebop is one of the few animes that I've actually seen. So, along with like you know, Inuyasha and whatever else was on Big O, <laughs> whatever else was on Adult Swim back in the day, because uh, Boomer. Um, but you know. Netflix was smart and didn't want to fall for the sunk cost fallacy. And yet. <laughs> and yet. Albedo and the vampire are the only actively horny characters. It's You really just can't do anything in anime without having the, the horny characters, right? Which I guess I can appreciate that as long as... <laughs> I I'm just... I'm not... I'm sorry, everybody. I'm not 15 years old. I don't watch things just because they have horny characters in them. Nah. Not full jump. Ah, slip, though. Oh, Albedo doesn't exist in the light. No really? Because she seems like a pretty important character. <laughs> huh. How about that? <laughs> That's interesting. That's actually really interesting. Huh. And yet, ha, huh. ha. Huh. F. Oh, come on! It's Jump King. That's hardly an F. I would have to go fall much farther down than that for that to be a true, true F. Let me tell you. Don't forget Elf and Lead. I don't, wait, 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 they didn't show Elf and Lead on Adult Swim, did they? Uh, standalone Complex. Standalone Complex was another one. Even Pancake, Crystal Brain, Elderly, you know how it goes. It's surprising because she's so central. Yeah, I know, right? That's that's why, that's, it's, I don't know. I guess it's like it didn't, I, well, once again, I don't have a very good read on what exactly the anime is supposed to be, so I suppose it's hard to say, like, what's supposed to be central because I haven't gotten into the real plot just yet. Ah, we'll get to it eventually. Anime logic is, anime producers be like not horny enough. Yeah, right? I mean, probably though, right? Like, that's like, like almost, almost definitely though, right? That's like, that's, that is, yeah. Like, you know, this is not even just like anime producers. This is like producers, not horny enough. Yeah. Man. Because like, that's hardly, that's hardly like something specific to anime. <laughs> Oh, hello, Megami Michael Jackson fan one. Omega Michael Jackson, not Megami. <laughs> Welcome to Jump King. We got all the mad ups that you need here. As I'm actually like getting a decent, decent distance into the game, even though I could go back a decent distance into the game and go get myself some new shoes, which is tempting, but like I don't know. I feel like I should just. You know, I've been stalling out doing the rest of the Jump King already. We should just, we should just, you know, start gunning for the end. That's what I'm trying to say here. Yeah, here we go. I read the name. Well, what, what can I say? We're currently out here talking about anime. It's like, do, do you expect anything less from me? <laughs> anyway. Out here doing your dad watches anime for the first time podcast part two, I guess. <laughs> Okay, this this seems like an easy but also kind of tricky jump. Let's just see, let's see if I can't full jump and then okay, you got to either go for like one jump immediately there or something, I don't know. I said, "Hey, this does seem to be a little at least a little bit of a checkpoint." Ah. Okay. I'm going to do this. Well, I mean, at least we still got. The, I mean, it's like, hey, the, the, there is still the, the 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 vampire character in the story, though, right? Oh, I don't know. If, well, well, here I go. <laughs> uh, it's still the vampire girl in the story, so it's just like it's not like entirely out of place for the story. 
Ah, we'll just see. I'm gonna keep that in mind though for watching future episodes because it's just like that is that is a pretty stark change. So I think that there's something to be said about like uh, about like a uh, artistic liberty between the anime and the the light novel itself. Or maybe there's not. I don't know. <laughs> what anime are we talking about? Overlord. I I okay. So here's the thing. I have not. Well, I mean, here, here's the basic rundown of this. Uh, like I guess you could call it semi podcast that I'm doing that I've called uh, your dad watches anime for the first time where it's just like I have not watched anime in like 10 plus years so I'm having chat recommend me well recommend force me to watch <laughs> watch stuff I just finished up Steins Gate eh, kind of lukewarm reception on it can't really say that I was a super huge fan and now uh, they got me watching Overlord which I've seen the first two episodes of thus far and I'm just trying to like um just trying to kind of like see what I'm in for. I'm only going to watch the first season, but uh, maybe if I don't do a full jump, but like partial jump. No, I, th I think I got to do like a quick hop there or something. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Woo! And we're back down, baby. Ouch. <laughs> I mean, not that ouch. That's more ouch. Still not that ouch. I mean, the fact that you have this checkpoint here makes this that much more palatable to actually do. Forced recommendation. Yes, it's... It's... <laughs> look, once again... Hey, speaking of which, we're also doing that thing where I'm having chat choose my schedule because I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. And watch anime in like two years. Try talking to me about like a boomer. Honestly, sounds like a podcast for me. It's not even a podcast. It's just more like, hey, I'm playing video games. And Jump King has a lot of you know, somewhat repetitive content to it. So, you know, hey, we're, um, we're, we're, we, this is sort of like semi just chatting in the same way that like I would do, uh, would do with, with dead cells. There we are. Oh my God. Okay. 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 There we go. Christianity does exist in the world of jump King. Write it down. Lore masters. All right. Ah, Noita is the real podcast. Do be yumping, though. Not yumping. Yumping actually does have a meaning. If you don't know, a yump is when you jump off of a... It's like a frame-perfect jump off of a P-switch in Super Mario World. They made a... Super Mario Hackers called the, the Jump Team, which made a couple hacks called Yump that I really like. Okay, full jump and... Ah, okay. I don't know. Maybe I can't get the jump because it's like you do need to like prime up jumps, you know? I'm, I must need to like... God, I probably need to make like a perfect arc over that um, that slippery walkway to actually make it... Uh, make it do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Tuesday... No, no, no. We haven't done... We haven't done the skull weapon yet for that. Are, uh, do, do you want to replace the skull weapon with doing the guacamole one for Tuesday? Tuesday 1 p.m.? I mean, let me... Of course, I did get, like, the full schedule from um, Silver earlier, but it's like, I don't know. Let's just do it week by week. Not open that up. Close that right now. Uh, schedule. Oh, yeah. I have some, I have it just called schedule here. <laughs> there we go. All right. Uh, Tuesday, 1, 1 p.m. Uh, dead Cells. DC Guacamole. Yeah, Skull Weapon should have been the one up next. I was going to do that over the weekend, but then I was just like, uh, but then I stayed up to like 5 a.m. and I was like, I don't feel like doing it anymore. Oh man, oh man. Sound like Slice Life comedy type guy? Have you watched Nietzsche Joe? I, I mean, that's the thing. It's like I haven't watched anything. I don't even know that, like, I was talking about, like, Steins Gate there. It's just like Steins Gate uh, came out in like 2010 or something. And it's just like, I didn't, I didn't realize that. I've not watched. The only anime that I've actually, like, watched is stuff that was on. You know, like Fox Box back in the day, and like, uh, Adult Swim. So it's just like I am very much not in the loop about anything. That's why we're doing this stupid podcast, semi podcast, not actually a real podcast. It's not like you know, Skull before DC. Too late. You already chose Guacamole. If you want the Skull thing, you should uh, schedule that one as well, or schedule it for the same day. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> There we go. All right. I don't know. I don't know how much I would be into like a comedy type of stuff. It's hard to say. Like I, 
would, would I? Probably? I, I, I don't know. Oh, well, there I go again. Hey. I didn't lose everybody. I managed to I managed to not fall all the way back down. If only those shoes actually did do something, you know, get like the grip on the side there. That would be I mean, I still don't think it would be worth going back to get getting them, but at least it would be something I'd consider a little bit more. Okay. No, it's thought probably would be worth it. To actually get like a good grip on the ice here and everything, make this entire section a lot easier. There we go. Oh, much better, much better, much better. I mean, skull the game before DC. Now, I did that with Curse of the Dead Gods, but that's because Curse of the Dead Gods, it's like I had not played on the channel prior to this point. Oh, that's also not a great... Mm. Well, then. Okay, okay, okay. Keep on... I, I have entirely forgotten how to do the jump again. Man! I got this here, though. Don't even worry about it. Look, here's the thing. It's like these are some easy jumps to make. They don't really require a whole lot of, like, foresight planning type of deal. Most of them. Not all of them, though. Like, I don't want it, but it's like, you know. Betty messes it up. It's Jump King! You know how Jump King works, right? Like, yeah. That's all the new weapons? Yeah, I just believe we have the Guacamole weapon, uh, which I still have yet to unlock. I'm planning to do that for the actual run we're doing. And then also the uh, the other. Sheltier still exists, but as horny as not as obvious. She's a succubus with on. Wait, she's a succubus? She's like a vampire in the. I mean, I guess that's a. I guess that's, you know, it's kind of succubus-like. Horniness has always been an important part of vampire lore and pretty much any 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 uh point that they exist in fiction <laughs> uh, i meant jump left at the start oh oh all right all right all right, all right, all right, all right. the other girl was a, t a succubus not shelter here specifically i don't even know who which which one who 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 be who that be ah I guess it's just like I haven't gotten I haven't gotten far enough in the actual series to really get a good handle on like all the characters as of just yet. There we go. You have the Guacamole outfit unlocked yet? I do you No, I haven't. I I'll, I'll do it. I'll 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 get it unlocked for the for the run though. Like I've done with the other ones. I've gotten all the other outfits unlocked though, and I'm kind of planning to use them during the the showcase. So, we'll be doing that. Not a full jump, but a bit more of a jump than you expect, because you're kind of supposed to, like, wedge your head underneath that platform there. Okay, two, Thursday, 1 p.m., Skull. Shakur. Um, Skull. Or, uh, not, not Skull, DC Skull. Uh, DC Guac. Gotta pay extra for that at Chipotle. Okay. And right over, baby. Didn't fall all the way back down, though. Not that it really matters too much. Hey, you can actually just do a full jump from that. From that side of the uh, the chandelier. Tuesday, 1 p.m. is Skull of the Game. 1 p.m. is already t being taken up by the Guacamole. By the Guacamole. <laughs> you know, the one. Sunday, Sunday, 11 a.m. Okay. Sunday, 11 a.m. Uh, Dur Rally, I guess. Then 8 p.m. on Tuesday? Give me a second. Let me get up here again. I am slowly but surely getting better at this. Fortunately, clearly not that much better at this. Learn to drive, bro. I'm trying, but it's hard. You think it's as easy to learn to drive as it is to learn to fly from the Foo Fighters? Double stream on Tuesday. Okay, I got it. 8 p.m. is Skull. Even though it's like, I don't know, man. I, 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 I finished that game. I feel like I finished that game for the most part. Let me try out some different skulls. Because usually I went with the, uh, the power defensive skulls and then like... Uh, fast skulls, otherwise. 
Could be worth checking out something a little bit different. I'll see it. Alright. Screw that up. That's okay, though. Here. Okay, so I did actually want to jump on that one anyway. Is there a free day? Uh, it's only Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday right now. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Why, why am I screwing this up so much? Cut that out. <laughs> Do a speed skull? But I did speed skulls. There might be a speed skull. I used, like, the, the werewolf skull an awful lot when I was... And I did the wrong thing again. I used the werewolf skull an awful lot when I was doing it. And also, obviously, the dead cell skull. Because, you know, it's just like a, the, 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 the crossover with that game, you know? Thursday is Ultra Kill. No, it has to be games on the list. No new games. It has to be either... Well, it has to be either, like, games that I've done or... Games that I have yet to do. Samurai or Clown? I used the Samurai one. I got like the Neo the Neo Samurai upgrade for it, and it's pretty good. Like the marks and everything that it does is uh There we go. Clown I don't remember the clown very well, I'll be honest. Is that the Jester one? Okay, actually I did use that one. But that that wasn't that was like a that was a balance skull, right? That wasn't a that wasn't a speed skull. Here we go. Uh, can't just eat. It's like you think you think doing this schedule is a way for you to sneak your 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 force me to play game recommendations in there. Nice try, but it ain't gonna work that way. You gotta wait until I finished up with the current list, or you pay fifty subs. I gave you Saturday. Oh, I didn't even see. Uh, special request for Saturday. He's talking about doing some mods for Dead Cell Saturday, one p.m. The Seed of Bloodshot mod. I guess I can see that. Damn DC blood, bl blood, blood shoot mod. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. You know, I still got like Curse of the Dead Gods to finish up, guys. You know, it's like I've, I've done so much preparation up for the. Nope. Undershot it. That's it. Hey, that's not too bad. As far as progress loss goes, I can deal with it. Hey, if you want, if you want to get new games on the list, you should be forcing me to play some of the games that are already on the list. <laughs> you know, <laughs> to get me through them faster. Ah, yeah. Ah, then pet cat for the channel when i mean there's my cat butler that appeared in one of the earlier episodes of dead cells <laughs> we're talking about dumb bits that i did at one point in time okay what if i just like went right out right to the edge and full jumped okay not not as bad that might actually be not a not bad strategy just find the the sweet spot here like get like get like one one foot off full jump almost there when we'll get the rest of Hat in time, go look at the playlist. Slightly more. Oh, so close. But it's like, I think there's... Okay, uh, how do I want to do this? How do I want to do this? It's like, I do think that there's something... I do think there's something to that. Something to that attempt. But I'm lazy. Spoon feed it to me. Okay, give me a second. Let me give him all my spoon. Damn, man. <laughs> it's like, I just, it shouldn't be, like, it's right here. It's right here. Uh, here we are. Um, give me, like, a shared link, please. Add videos. Edit description. I should have, like, a link here. Oh, here we go. Share. There you go. Right there. <laughs> if you're looking for it. Okay. Oh. Now then, how are we doing this? How are we doing this? What if I went all the way to the right? That probably won't work. But I'm going to try it anyway. <laughs> no, that did not work. Woo! Uh, once again, not the worst. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. Actually, like, not even... Actually, it's like, that, that almost couldn't even be worse, because it's just like, this is kind of like the more annoying jump to make. Yeah, see? It's like, th this other stuff is actually fairly trivial to get through. Ga Chapel Perilous is not a tremendously difficult area. As if it's trying to, like, uh, warn you for, like, the second half of the game or something. I don't know. Or not. Okay, anyway, anyway, anyway. Yeah. 
Let me continue drinking my monster energy drink that I have here. That's right. Here it is. So yeah, it's like if you were wondering for a rest of hat and time, well, there's two extremely large streams where I not only did uh, all the main content in hat and time, I also did the uh, Seal the Deal DLC and quite a few of the Death Wishes. So, you know, if you're if you're really interested in like, hey, how do I approach the Death Wish stuff? Uh, with relative ease, actually. <laughs> I don't know. There, I, I kind of wanted to continue on with the Death Wish stuff, but it's like, to be honest, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of them that are just like speed run the level, and I'm just like I don't want to speed run the level. Okay, I still I don't know. I feel like I can get this, but maybe I can't actually. Who knows? I mean, ugh, it's like oh yeah, like it's really hard to get up the blue ruin here. Not that I want to have to do it uh, constantly, but you know, it's really not that bad. I'm gonna be honest here. This stuff. These jumps, totally manageable. Oh, Wakanda forever. I have not. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Chad. I'm not very familiar with um, with the Marvel movie stuff. Or Marvel comics, like, entirely. Okay. Go all the way over. <sighs> well, can I at least? Nah. All right, all right, all right. It seems like I'm going to have to. Um <clears throat> Seems like I'm going to have to uh, be a little bit more figure figure out stuff a little bit more, and I went the wrong direction again. E why why do I keep doing that? I know what I need to be doing here. It's just jump left, full jump, jump right, full jump. Get a, get a, get a little bit off the edge, but trust me, that's good. Uh, that's that's good for you to not know a lot about the comics and movies. It is okay. Fair enough. Uh, anyway. I say anyway like I had anything else to say there. Uh, y you guys are making me learn about anime. It's, it's, it's like, yeah. That job's like not hard to make. And you don't really lose, well, you don't really lose much progress, period, at this point in the game. You're actually pretty well locked into, to like this part. It's hard to, f you can't make a bunch of critical errors like I was talking about before. You're, you're pretty much locked in here. But, uh, yeah, what was I saying here? You, you're making me watch anime. Why not make me... I mean, well, okay, because I, there's no free way to watch uh, watch the Marvel movies. That's why. What about Marvel anime? I mean, is, is there a way I can watch it for free? You can... After I finish with, with uh, the first season of, of Bone Lord... It's like, you can make me do that. If, if and you feel like it, I suppose. After I get out of the bone zone. Or you can make me watch more of the bone zone. I don't know. Whatever you want to do. There is a way you just need an eye patch and peg leg. You know that I... Re that I refuse. I don't I don't know. I, I'm like past the point in my life where I pirate things. Maybe as a younger man you could have convinced me to do otherwise. But these days I will pay for everything legitimately. Or watch advertisements or whatever. Please, please don't shut down my channel, Susan. <laughs> uh, anyway. Or Jeff. Either one of you. Oh, you don't want to exercise your naval navigation skills. Do you want to see me? Do you want to see me actually take a boat out? Like in a video game. Like we do, we, we play Sid Meier's Pirates or something. Uh, I see of Thieves, I guess would probably be... What if I went just really far? I, I should really stop trying to force this sort of. Okay, well, hey, I'm back here at least. Uh, but you do use ad block. You, <laughs> you can clearly hear from me playing music in the background when I do that, uh, that no, I don't. <laughs> All right, I just got to nail this like once. And then I, and I'll be able to. I don't. Yeah, I just don't know what the the proper jump, or the proper jumping strategy is here. And the pirate FTL like game. I never played FTL. Did play um. Never played FTL. Did play uh, Into the Breach though. Like, 
one pixel off the end. Uh, okay, uh, no, not quite there, though. What other good pirate games are there? Uh, sea of Thieves, people talked about a lot. Uh, yeah, AC4, um, Pirates, Pirates, uh, uh, I don't know. Can't really. FDL's masterpiece, so I hear. I'm playing it myself, though. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. My go the goblin got out of my throat for a second. <laughs> anyway. Ah, <laughs> oh, good pirate games. I was kind of feel bad because it's just like... For the longest time, Rareware wanted to make like a pirate game. And although Sea of Thieves is pretty popular... You know, fairly good and everything. It's just like, I also hear a lot of people talking some mess about it. I'm just happy, though, that for anybody actually still remaining at the company, that they were able to make that. I mean, something they want to do. Why is he in your throat? Don't you eat goblins every single day? They're high in fiber. No one else is scheduling stuff. Wednesday can be more cursed. Well, Wednesday might be the, the end of Curse the Dead Gods, that right? Yeah, uh, because I'm... I don't know. It's like we could do hard mode, but yeah, let's keep it a nice short series. You know. Hey, if people want to make me do it more, uh, if they want to make me do it more, they can. After all, I'm already getting skull here. Yep, too far. Vor stream. It's always a vor stream here, baby. Yeah. All you got to do is ask. And then here comes the vor. Uptime, we got about 56 minutes currently. 56 minutes of pure. What 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 is the stupid thing they call this? Uh tactical leaping action. <laughs> pure tactical <laughs> since I was mis mis the stream is there a schedule or something. Yes, it is. We're actually currently figuring that one out right now. Uh, but I, I po I'm, po I'm posting it on Twitter as of right now. No, uh, once again, I will say caveat emptor. Uh, no promises that I'm actually going to do the streams, but I'm, I'm going to try to, I'm going to try and do it. Let's just say that. I'll make a real attempt. Unlike, you know, scheduling episodes of stuff. I feel like I can stick to a stream a lot better. Schedule with whatever I decide, basically. A vor stream, please. <laughs> <laughs> um Ah <laughs> There you go Also give me one second Uh Okay, I had to wipe off the microphone. Um, anyway. <laughs> what was that? That was me voring the microphone. Because we're doing a vor stream now. <laughs> Did you not get that? Uh, I thought this was the one clip game with time. No, that is jump off the cliff. <laughs> Actually, just got some updates recently if you wanted to uh, throw that on the thing. Uh, I think that, it, by the way, it's like if you wanted to uh, if you wanted to suggest stuff, maybe we'll even do that after like a little bit of uh, jumping and kinging here. Is, um... Is the uh, uh, a new update out for World of Horror? Could be, could be a fun time. Actually, I mean it's a few days back now, but it's just like, hey, more stuff, more more stuff to do in in World of Horror, as you know. And here I was about to ask a random question to start a topic. It's like people, I, I, I don't know, every single time people are so surprised with when they ask me to vor the mic, and then it's just like when I do it. They're all, I mean, it's like, it is, I, I remember, it's like the first time I listened to that, I was shocked at how loud it was. But it's just like, you know, give the people what they want. Christianity confirmed the Jump King. We already confirmed it earlier. You you missed it. <laughs> you missed when we did that. Uh, maybe not completely backwards. Maybe just like in the middle here. Cause like I feel like it has to be a okay, okay. So you can do like a little jump to kind of well cancel some momentum, not like all of it, but it's good to know. Let the people eat vor. 
That's right, uh, the famous quote. Okay. Ah, you have to, like, press it for just a second. I'm still not entirely sure how to get over that little, uh, little part there. No, well, we'll have plenty more times to figure it out. Yeah, instead of let the people eat cake, it's let the people eat other people. Frankly, I'm all for it. Someone else can figure out Friday? Or right, Friday will be the day off if people aren't going to be um, figuring it out here. Because le schedule is locked after this, uh, this stream. Let me tell you. Try chaining jumps. It's really hard to do, though. Because it's just like, if you just... It's like, that's that's like tapping the jump button. I mean, I guess I can just like try tapping the jump button as I get up there. Maybe that'll work. I suppose I didn't... I suppose maybe I... Try, um, yeah, we'll see. Bah. That was not what I meant to do, actually. Jump King is such a masochistic game, it makes my head hurt from, uh, from annoyance. Really? I, I find it fun. I'm having a good time. Jumping, kinging, chatting about anime and vor. The usual topics that, that occur on the stream. However, you know how that is. If you've ever been to one of my streams here before, you know that you're going to get bored eventually. Right into the schlorp zone. Bah! Anyway. <laughs> is this the end? No. I, I'm, I'm fairly certain there's like four areas remaining. We got this one. We got Blue Ruin up next. Uh, Chapel Perilous, Blue Ruin, something, and then like a finale. At least I think that's how it went. I've seen other people play the game before, but I gotta remember, but I gotta say it's just like most people that I watch give up before this point. <laughs> I never get bored of your vor. Perfect, because that's that's like my one trick pony. You know? I'll be back. I mean, the thing is, it's like at this point in time, it's actually like a nice calming sort of uh, sort of deal because, you know, you um, you you get like a real big checkpoint at this point in the game. You 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 can't fall down from here unless you explicitly want to. By the way, Silver, I am sorry. I am not currently doing your uh, the schedule you gave me earlier because I'm just I'm just gonna do it week by week. I think. I'm gonna I'm gonna make it be like a, a, a like lottery type of thing if people get in here and uh, give me something to do. All right, baby, we almost here again. Okay. Ah, oh, I'd hate having to do the same thing over and over. The only reason I do it because I'm focused on chat. I mean, I play roguelikes, so <laughs> you know. Uh, almost. It's all good. I'm not worried. It was just a blueprint for you to use as a regular stream. Yeah, I mean, it's like this is this is such, I, I don't know. The whole like having chat. Ugh, the whole like having chat do things for me. I don't know. I just I just like it as like a thing. Because one, it's just like if I am actually doing games like on commission, basically. <laughs> like I have been doing with uh, Curse of the Dead Gods or, you know, recently with uh, going to be doing with Akane soon enough. Should throw that on as like a stream type of thing here eventually uh what else what else oh yeah of course like the hundred subs for for doing doing uh hollow knight again it's just like hey you know money there's compensation for it and it's just like i also just like having hey hey chat it's your time to shine you get to choose stuff here so then I can blame you when I'm unsuccessful. No, um, yes. But no, but like maybe a little bit. <laughs> Finally got around playing Hades. It's a really good game. It doesn't it doesn't quite like, you know, grab me like a lot of other games, but obviously the quality is undeniable. You know, I would 100 I mean, I'd 100 percent suggest pretty much anything that uh, Supergiant made. I think they're a very good developer. Ah, I still don't get it. <laughs> Unfortunately, I still don't get it. I don't know why. But anyway, 
Loki, I'm more into it than Dead Cells than I was in DC. Yeah. Uh, I like it more than Dead Cells, and I was into DC. <laughs> okay. It's like, ah, uh, no. Haven't. Not not the first time I've heard that before. I mean, I, I would say this. Just like, yeah, Hades is it was a fantastic game. However, Dead Cells, of course, has that level of just, like, absolute... Um, it's a lot of variety and the hardcoreness, of course. I, I enjoy the, the super fast paced nature of the game. I mean, you know how I play every single game like Dead Cells? Well, that's because Dead Cells is the sort of game that I like playing. <laughs> nice. It's like I like playing games fast and loose in the exact way that Dead Cells really gives me, which is why I love that game so much. But I also know that it's like I hardly represent everybody. <laughs> Is Transistor good? Yeah, I actually did a playthrough of it on the channel. Uh, he's very good. Really like that game, actually. I, I think that that game has a very cool combat system in it that I, I feel like I, I would not hate seeing other games adapt. Uh, come on now. Jump right up on top of here, though. Okay, okay, okay. Got the fifth boss cell, so I'm here before I re-enter the fray. Good luck. It's like fifth boss cell is not too much different from fourth boss cell. Well, it is now. They changed up so uh, Malaise is only on fifth boss cell. But it's just like, needless to say, an extra area and everything does mean that you got to do that much more resource management, planning out with your build and everything. You also like NetHack, which is nothing like DC. I'm a multi-layered individual. I can like more than one thing. <laughs> I oh, select turn-based JRPGs. <laughs> but yeah, you know. <laughs> That's about half an hour ago, and you're literally in the same place since then. Sums up the game pretty well. That's Jump King, baby. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, I mean, you know, the thing is, it's supposed to be a rage game. It's supposed to be a funny rage game that you get mad at. But I don't get mad at video games. The toys for children. I would never get mad at such a thing. Anyway, <laughs> uh, treating you as one note type of guy. Well, I mean, the thing is, it's just like, you know, any uh, there's a lot of people that played Hades. There's not a lot of people who are who got really into Dead Cells comparatively, <laughs> which is why it's like that's where that's where I think my, you know, that's where it's just like I play a lot of games like Dead Cells. Hence, <laughs> despite like. Uh, what, what, what do you mean? I like Final Fantasy VI just fine. I also, yeah. No, no, Final Fantasy XV wasn't turn-based. Uh, no, I like Final Fantasy VI. That, that game was great. That game was like really good for, for like being, for like coming out in like 1994. <laughs> I want you to get you played Monster Hunter. I mean, I did play Horizon. Okay, what am I doing here? What am I doing? <sighs> what if I tried to get into that one like loot divot right there? One out of how many FF games? I liked Final Fantasy 15. I liked Final Fantasy 6. I didn't really like Final Fantasy 9. Those are the only ones I played so far. <laughs> okay, what what am I doing? What I I, I just can't get this jump. 15 is not turn based. Yeah, true. But like, so that's one out of the two that I played on the channel. <laughs> I think Final Fantasy 10 is genuinely a pretty good game, but I never played it myself, so I can't really. Is I can't really give too much judgment on it. I just really like its style and story. I think they did a good job with that. Twelve. I don't. I know nothing about twelve. I played Final Fantasy seven and Final Fantasy five back in the day, but it's been it's been way too long. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? How do I want to do this? How can I do this? I don't know. Nope. <laughs> Good try, though. Where would you go after making that jump? I mean, uh, upwards and to the right, basically. Five has a really good five has that really good job system that everybody liked. That was sort of like how they did the Magicite in six. It's close to like dress spheres in Final Fantasy X-2, actually. Which I think was pretty, pretty fun. But other than that, it's not like Axe Death was a real compelling character or anything. It's just uh, you know, 
decent, but I think that it really paved the way for a six to be a better game. Or at least more, or at least, you know, a game that I enjoyed more, if nothing else. Yeah. When you play an Octopath, ugh. Eventually. I mean, I didn't really want to play Octopath after I just played a whole bunch of JRPGs. Y'all keep making me play JRPGs. Why y'all want me to play so many JRPGs? Nobody wants to watch them on the channel. <laughs> they always get copyright claimed. Can't you go straight up instead of going all the way to the right for that jump? I... No, because, I mean, the thing is, it's like with Jump King, you can't actually move around in the air. It's got, like, realistic jumping physics. But it's like, go straight up. I don't... I'll, I'll, I'll take a look. I'll take a look and see if I can figure out something related to that. Oh, next time I get up there. Ugh, it's on the list, so I was just asking. I mean, y'all could have scheduled it uh, for a stream or something like that if you wanted to, but you didn't. Like, I, I, you, by the way, I'm going to hold that over your heads every single time you say anything related to, hey, when's something coming? It's like, well, why didn't you schedule it? <laughs> they did the scheduling? You can still do the scheduling. Nope. Oh, got it. Didn't, didn't, la didn't die. I was late. Did there st you can still schedule stuff. Scheduling is only locked in at the end of the, the stream as far as I'm concerned. Okay, if I jump straight up. I don't think jumping straight up is going to do much of anything for me here. Yeah. It's like I can't quite get, you know, up high enough. I'm just going to slide right off if I try to go over there. Oh, what to do, what to do, what to do. Shifting blame is off him? Uh, is... No, not from there. From where exactly? I mean, basically, as soon as I get onto that second um, that second pillar, if I can stop on that first pillar, or if I just get onto that second pillar, what I can do is I can do a full jump to the right, or maybe not a full jump, but that's probably the first thing I'm going to try, uh, to get onto that one platform, and then just kind of go from there. Below, below that diagonal bit, you, you keep jumping. I mean, I could... I don't know. I just... I could try getting onto there, but I don't know where I would go from there, is the thing. Because I don't think I have enough height to get up onto the... The uh, platform that's directly above me, you know, the one on uh, the one above that little uh, entrance to the next screen. It's just like, yeah, I don't. I, it's it. You think it's there for a reason, but I don't know why. Hmm. I mean, I can try it. It's just you can't really jump upward from there. And I don't think you'd be able to jump on anything else from that point specifically. No, go back down one level? Uh, well, here's the thing. I'm going to go back down one level regardless if I try making this jump again. So let's give her another attempt. Oh. Uh, go over to the left and then jump straight up. Well, let me see. I don't think there's a, a platform to jump onto, though, here. Yeah? No. No, it's, it's, it's specifically designed to prevent you from jumping up there, it seems. Even another attempt, though. Maybe there's something to that. Maybe if I went from, like, right here. No. No, I think I think they got it planned out so that it doesn't work like that. Ah, good try, though. That's a, that, was a, that, was, that was a good attempt, but I don't think... I don't... I do, it might be more more trouble than it's worth. If that jump is possible, it's probably more trouble than it's worth. Should try just like getting the, I don't know, micro jumper. Oh, oops, too far. Uh, try getting the um the micro jump or whatever that I'm trying to do there. Where it's just like you're just trying to. What you're trying to do is, at least as far as I can tell, seemingly. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Get your head in the game here. Uh. Friday, anytime, depends on you. Then uh, there will be no streams on Friday. People, uh, Every single time, people never get that. <laughs> it's like, oh, you want me to do something? Then there will be none. It's like, man, you think it would be super easy just to say a time, but it's not. It's that sort of thing where it's just like, if you just, like, if you tell somebody just like, hey, Choose one or two. They'll be like, oh, oh, I don't know. It's like, and here's me, just like two. <laughs> there. Look at me. I'm smarter than everybody else on Earth. <laughs> uh, 
Well, let me tell you, chat. If somebody asks you to choose a number, just choose a number. <laughs> don't don't ask more questions. Just do it. It's so easy. Choose one or two. I choose three. Well, that still that is still a failure state. <laughs> it's so it's so easy. Like why why like chat? I want I want you to I want to ask you right now. Choose one or two. Stop, type one or two in chat. Do it. Do it. Do it right now. Three. You failed. One or two. You failed. Two. One. Two. Three people. Uh, four people got it. Four people got it right. That's it. Out of out of everybody watching this right now, four people got it right. <laughs> two people failed. <laughs> How do you fail that? Well, you found a way. You did it. <laughs> anyway. That's what I'm saying. It's like, don't, 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 don't give it too much thought. Asking too many questions. Just, just say the number. Anyway. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's so easy. It's so easy just to succeed. But you, you, you couldn't do it. You had to say three. You have to be like, well, what am I choosing right now? And the answer is, if it's supposed to be a two, 1 or 2 p.m. And you said 3, so there are no streams on, th on Friday. There you go. It's like, little, little did you know. Little did you know that it's just like, all you had to do was choose, was not choose the wrong answer. This is why I'm smarter than everybody here. Because I can choose a number when asked. I'm telling you, chat. Your life will improve drastically if you can just choose choose one of two choices. One of two completely arbitrary choices when asked. So. <laughs> gaslighting chat. <laughs> gaslighting chat. What are you talking about? No, I'm girl bossing chat. Uh, yeah. I choose death. Then you, then that is what you deserve. Like a traitor deserves. I choose violence. Then that is what you deserve. Like I don't. Why? I just. I just wanted to know if I should get sprinkles on my ice cream. But I guess we're gonna have to fight now. Okay. Here. Here comes the the, the fist. <laughs> This is how I fight. I, I say, here comes the fist. And then I guess I punch somebody? Look, don't get in a fight with me. I'm going to lose. And it's going to be embarrassing. Unless unless the fight is to choose one of two arbitrary numbers, then I'll 100% win. Fam, I'll choose it right now. One. There. Oh. Oh. Oh, man. It, it, like, it didn't even... It wasn't even a thing. It didn't even take, like, a second. I just, I just immediately chose a number. It's like I didn't even think about it. That's why that's why I'm a winner and you're all failures, chat. <laughs> anyway, this has been my TED talk <laughs> about being more assertive in the workplace. Sweet 16. Hey, thank you for throwing remains. 16 months. Welcome to a uh, very weird stream. <laughs> We're playing Jump King. I guess, you know what? Let's just get back to jumping. I still don't know. I still don't know what to do there in Blue Ruin. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> like, I'm, I am I feel like I figured out a lot of the jumps here, even if I might uh, mess them up every once in a while. But it's just like, you know. Apply to as many high-paying jobs as possible until you ask you to pick an arbitrary number in an interview. Yeah, exactly. It's just like, I'll, I'll succeed. And who's the person interviewing you? It's me. <laughs> Like, we want doers at our company. We don't want thinkers. We want people who will act, not people who will panic. And chat right now, I gotta say, it's just like, you're, you're kind of, you kind of sounded like those people who panic. Ask you to pick between two numbers, you feels three. What's up with that? Just jump the gap, exactly. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't, oh. That's the, that's the most frustrating thing in this game, by the way. It's like when you do, when you just, when, if you know what you need to do, that, that was a mess up. If you know what you need to do, then it's like, yeah, messing up the execution is one thing. 
if you don't know what you need to do, that's the frustrating one. And that's when you... That's when you lose it. That's when you start talking about numbers. Two! Right there! I, I picked another one. I picked another number. I didn't even think about it. Smartest man alive. Mensa member number one. Dr. Inferno Manbird. The numbers, what do they mean? It doesn't matter what they mean. You were just asked to pick two and you didn't pick it. What's wrong with you people? <laughs> 2.5, you failed. Ban that guy. <laughs> I don't want people who can't choose numbers in my chat. <laughs> I only want people who can't choose. I gotta go pee, give me a second. One! There! I did it again! Easy. Anyway, the point is that I think Octopath Traveler is a is a game that's probably best done on like a, uh, a video style just because then I can edit out random battles. You know how that is. Is there a number of D? No, you failed! I'm sorry, uh, you are banned without parole. <laughs> Once again, I only want winners in chat. I only want chat chads. Chads. You know. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Let's jump right here. Let's jump right here. Chats. Chads. Chads. Yeah, with Z's. With four Z's. Just play Metro Friday 1 p.m. I'm sorry, but after launching into that entire bit, you know I can't just go back and do that, right? What if X equals 2 and we ban that guy again? Anyway. <laughs> What am I doing? I swear. I, I, I'm I betting that it's like, yeah, you just need to like hold it. Okay. Come on. I don't. Hmm. Hmm. Stop the count. <laughs> that guy can't choose numbers. Get him. Get him, boys. Choose number. One, two, three, three. Easy. I even held up three fingers there, which you couldn't even see. And it's just like, I did look. That, that's, that is how sure. I am in my ability to choose numbers. Dr. Inferno Firebird, number one number chooser. That number, one. <laughs> okay, anyway. See, now you're a rules follower. Chat makes the rules. Yeah, but the thing is, I made the rules for chat to make. There you go. You are streaming Friday at 2 p.m. Yeah, but you didn't give me a thing to stream. <laughs> I like your gumption, but you still screwed up the process. <laughs> Although, thank you, thank you, Miguel Chavez. I love you, as always. <laughs> semantics. That is not semantics. Like, did, like, what am I gonna start up a stream and just do nothing? Actually, that's that's a, not an uncommon protocol for a lot of people. Come on, just jump. <sighs> oh well. Get him next time. You're streaming Grime on Friday. Grime would be pretty fun to stream, but I don't know. It's like that's technically not on the list or anything. You know, some of the gift subs for that. It might have actually been you. I'm not entirely sure. But uh, it's like, I don't know. 
I guess I'm like setting the bar at like commission a game to be 50 subs just because that's an arbitrary number. Just a chatting and hot tub stream. Oh, let me go get up my hot tub <laughs> image again. I still got that thing somewhere here. This is this is roughly the stream to put it on, right? Actually, you know, I think this image right here just basically perfectly encapsulates like me as a person. This is just what should be in the corner every single like in every single stream. There. <laughs> now then. That hot dog looks amazing. That's a hamburger. I wouldn't eat a hot dog. The Lakers fan? No. That's actually more like second guy's thing. <laughs> okay, okay, but anyway. Now if we're doing the hot dog. This is also a pretty good picture, but you know. <laughs> From Death's Gambit. Watch that series. Uh, where's the stupid hot tub thing? I created that so long ago. This point. Uh, somewhere here. Actually, I have no idea where this is. Unless. Nope, still don't know. Wait, is there, is that it? No. Yes? No. Uh... Only I never had it leave the screen. Whatever, this is all pointless. I'm getting rid of this already. Get out of here. <laughs> I get crippling anxiety when eating uh, burgers with people. Messiest food ever. They don't just messy eater. No, they're pretty messy. It's like I don't know. I I like getting sauces. I like burgers with sauces. It's just like that means that you're probably gonna get like a little bit of ketchup, maybe like mayonnaise if you're going with that sort of thing for a burger, which I I, I like. I think mayo on burger is pretty good. Avocado, similarly. Uh, you know. <laughs> Be the first real tuber. A virtual creation taking over on... Taking over a flesh body on camera. I mean... You know, given dead cells, it's like that's actually very, like... Not even unrealistic. I can make that work, right? We'll see. I prefer horseradish on my burgers? I could probably get it. It's like, that's a... That's a good... That is a good, um... The, 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 the horseradish works well with beef. This period. How am I doing this? I still don't know. Spicy garlic mayo for meat. That sounds really good too. God, I might go get a burger at this rate. I'm just uh, roast beef specifically. Yeah, I mean that's that's usually what I plan. Ran a hot dog cooking beer. I don't. Oh, okay. So chat. I don't eat uh, ground meats aside from hamburgers occasionally. And that's pretty much it. Maybe like salami and um, pepperoni. So it's like hot dogs? No, I haven't had a hot dog in like 30 years. Classic burger sauce is literally just mayo plus ketchup. Oh, okay. Plus some spices. Yeah, I mean, it, it depends. It's it's like, you know, it, you, you go with the all beef. You go with like the all beef patty and then you, uh, you dress it up with other stuffs uh, afterwards. I mean that's how you that's how you make a hamburger, everybody. Don't don't. It's, it's like you have you have sauces later. What am I doing? What am I doing? Giving us age hints? No, I'm not. <laughs> Ground meats are great, but air meats and fire meats are better. Water meats not so much. Oh, definitely not. Will you eat the hot dog sideways like a burger? Uh, yes, I will eat. I if, if I ever ate a hot dog, which I won't, I will eat it right down the middle, <laughs> and then um, consume the two separate sides created from that at the same time, shoving them into my waiting gob like I did the microphone earlier. This is this is how I eat food. <laughs> I mean, it's 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 like how I eat a sub sandwich by by uh, putting one end into my mouth and then punching the entire thing down my throat in one swift motion. 
I have nearly died several times trying to enjoy spicy Italian. <laughs> but let me tell you, it's worth it. You also eat burgers from top to bottom. I, I take burgers apart, eat the patty first, and then I, I take the rest of the condiments and whatever other sort of like things on top of the burger, put them in between the, the, the remaining buns, and then eat that by itself. And by eat it, what I do is I go around the edges, chewing off small portions as the as like the circumference of the burger becomes smaller and smaller until I eat the middle in one swift bite. Now then, Ugh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I mean, do this jump since you're sliding. Can you hold right and try to stop? That's, I, that's maybe. No, it is it is very slippery. I think it's a little bit too slippery for you to even try and do that. I mean, I guess I hadn't really tried that prior to that point, though. So it was worth at least attempting. Yeah. Okay, come on now. Oh, charred ground duck meat is the meat, is the meat equivalent to, of the Avatar. Oh, earth, fire, and water. I see. <laughs> I'm just like, what? It is a waterfowl. It's true. You're us losing your sanity? No. No, what are you talking about? It's like I've played way more like repetitive games than this in my time. Let me tell you. The frustrating thing here, like I said, is, is the fact that I just don't know what to do on that jump. That's a tough jump. My sanity is perfectly fine. And after we're done here, I'm going to go get a sandwich and chop it up and put it on top of a salad. And then mash that salad into a paste, freeze it, and then, you know, stick it inside of a sausage casing and then cut that onto another uh, ciabatta bun with the cheese on it, of course, and eat that as a sandwich. Okay. That's going to be my dinner. This might actually work. Come on. No, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. They, they, they planned for it to not work like that. Okay, okay. I eat burgers in the same way people eat Oreos. You, you twist off the top and then lick all the ketchup off of it and then eat the rest of And then throw away the rest. Don't need that garbage. No, with milk. Oh, okay. Oh. chop up the rest of it and put it into like a put it with pudding and vodka do it again but rebound it rebound it to what <laughs> failed experiment you say that like I haven't already had that for dinner <laughs> say that like I'm not doing it right now I'm not I can't play the video game at the same time True question is, how do you eat ice cream? Well, I make a surgical incision right on top of my stomach and put the ice cream in there. <laughs> oh, I don't have ice cream very often. <laughs> I, I really do not know what to do. <laughs> um, oh, man. Ah. Uh. Like Oreos with condensed milk. That might actually not be too bad. Can you jump while sliding? I mean, if you can, I haven't been doing it very well. Ah! As soon as I figure this out, Chad, let me, let me tell you. Uh, try a charge jump on the flat part. In the flat part? Jump as you slide. I mean, the thing is, it's like the, the sliding, as you can see, it has like a different animation to it where it's just like I don't think you can do uh, jump charging at the same time. I mean, I, I've at least I've tried to do that and it doesn't seem to be working. I think. Okay. Blue Ruin's a good name. We're an area, by the way. Got good connoissance. Stop messing that up. <laughs> Nerves of skill. Can you buffer a charged input? No, I don't think you can buffer stuff in the air. Yeah, it's like, no, if I hold down the, the button, as you can see, it's like, 
As soon as the Jump King jumps, it's no longer jumping anymore. Yeah. Hmm. Messing up these jumps right now is also kind of tilting me too, but it's just like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, dudes. Not seeing it. Is there any like wacky. God, I don't know. There is that one like ledge underneath there, but I don't know what it would do for me to actually get on it. Yeah. I'm just like looking around here. I just. I, I, there's nothing there. Like, there's not, like, something I can bounce onto for, like, walls or something, I think. Jump from the bottom and rebound from the side. No, 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 I tried that already. As, as you can see, the, um, the... Do I have my mouse on screen at all? No, I don't. But, uh, the, the pillars, the pillars have, like, stuff on it that prevents you from doing this stuff. I know how to do this jump, do you? <laughs> I don't. And the shoes don't do anything. I looked it up because it's just like I wanted to see what the shoes actually did. And it's like they are just cosmetic, unfortunately. What do you say on the right tip of the thing? I don't... I don't think you can land on top of that. I think that regardless of what I do, that that is too small to actually land on top of. When you jump over, you slide down. Quick jump to the left to get over the pit. Uh, but every time I try quick jumping, it does... Hmm. Nope. It does that. Doesn't work. Eh. That's how you do it, I promise. Well, I mean, that's like the best the best thought that we got here. So, and by your best thought that we got here, I mean, it's just like, it's, yeah, you gotta spoil me on it if you want. It's like, I, 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 can, I can experiment around until I can figure this out here. Or we can just do it right now already and get, and get on with the damn game already. Because it's like, I, I feel like the execution... Uh, this is not a puzzle game where you try and figure out how to do the jumps <laughs> for the most part It's an execution game where you try and execute it over and over Bruh. Okay, though There we are Now then You're correct. You got to do a tiny jump. Well, let's I mean, I've been trying to do a tiny jump, but it hasn't been doing it. I don't know you got to do a jump on that last part of the slide. I mean, that's that's pretty much that's the only place you can do a jump. You can't you can't jump when you're when you're falling. So, at least if there is a way that you can jump when you're falling, I have not been able to do it. That is that is tech too advanced for myself, really. At least this section is nice and easy to go through. All right. Let's get up there. I mean, now that we got it, we can go back to talking about, um, whatever we were talking about before. And I will just basically try to get back up there and figure out the timing and everything for what I need to do. Come on, now. Oh. Still got some schedule slots open. As long as people are able to cho arbitrarily choose a number between one and three. I will listen to them for what they want to see. Do. Okay, you win. You did. Congratulations. Yes, yes. Perfect. I'm training you well, everybody in chat. No, no, no. Sorry, Miguel. You screwed it up again, and you're now banned one more time. Anyway. <laughs> or you can also like put more stuff on the other days, too. I mean, I don't know. I don't, whatever. Whatever you feel like doing, really. Ma'am. Damn. Keep on going for it, baby. I can do this. I mean, I win. You, oh, you, yeah, but, like, what do you win, though? You can't trick us for the second time. D two is a number between one and three. It's true. I won't be trained. Oh, you won't be anything soon enough once you get ru once you get a band. Once you get ruined is what I was going to say because I was looking at the word blue ruin. Okay. All right. Get back up here. Ah. Now, 
Full jump. Didn't do it. Oh, I gotta hold buttons to make sure that I stop sliding around on stuff too then, which I, I stop uh, doing correctly. Oh. Now then. Bruh. I can't believe I screw up that jump so much. And I, I, it's like I know how to do all of this stuff. I don't know why it's so hard for me. Shouldn't be hard. Nobody actually gave me anything to do for the schedule, by the way. <laughs> in case you're wondering in uh, YouTube later, I guess. In, in case you're watching this in YouTube land. Okay. Okay. Nice and icy. Nicey and icy. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Jump King looks like a Stormcloak soldier. Looks like a... Looks like Shovel Knight to me, but... I guess I haven't actually played any of the... Uh... Oh, that was close. I think we almost got a chat. Well, not that, but everything else... <laughs> I'm enjoying how badly I'm doing this. Anyway, so close. I mean, the thing is, it's just like, I'm going to have to do it like 20 more times. <laughs> and that's probably lowballing it as soon as I actually get it the first time. So it's like, don't don't worry. We'll have plenty of time to get acquainted with that jump. Ah. Such is the ways of the jump king. Such are the only ways the Jump King will lead into his realm. His magical realm of jumping. Still have nobody... I mean, it's just like, guys, the schedule's open. You can do stuff. As long as you can answer, once again, a number between one and three. That's the question. One. Great. <laughs> that you didn't actually give me anything else. But you did say one, and you did say three. Okay, I feel like people are kind of missing the point of what we're doing here right now. Oh no, it's uh, oh no. This is this is exactly how it works. It's just like the training is is too intense. They don't know how to do anything else anymore. Their their brains are fried. Beef brain. Everybody's got beef brain here. From watching my streams, I should have known that that's how it was going to turn out eventually. Me, the smartest human on earth. Should have seen this coming. Can we get Cogmind for one? For one what? <laughs> for a dollar? No, I think it's like ten bucks. Just finished the game? Hey, congratulations. It is a hard, uh, it is a hard game. Oh, frustrating game. One Vore stream. We already did the Vore stream. This is the Vore stream. Oh, me, I'm still struggling my way up the chapel. Perilous. Perilous chapel. <laughs> good watch people suffer. I mean, I don't really say suffer. It's just like, I'm, I'm, I'm having a, I'm having a good time. Just kind of, I mean, yeah, yeah, it's a trial, but it's like, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I feel like my suffering level is fairly low, all things considered. I'm openly deciding not to say any number. I understand getting banned that many times and all that. Yeah. There we go. Uh, and there we go. All right. Almost had it. Let's do it again. <sighs> well, at least I didn't fall down too far. I don't rage easily, but this game would break me. I mean, it's like, I, I got, you know, I got the history. I got the play, history of playing so many roguelikes and everything. It's like, I know what it's like. Whether by your constant playthroughs of Dead Souls. Exactly, exactly. It's like, I know what it's like to lose progress. I know what it's like to fight against a wall, sometimes literally, and <sighs> seemingly never make any sort of progress. Ah. Yeah. Back down, baby. Such is the way of the world. Such is the way of Jump King. It's like people, people who might not have as much experience with, like, video games and uh, fighting your way through game overs to be able to actually win is, is might might have the resolve broken that much more me though i know what i'm doing yeah 
I can get this. I can get this. Like, look, here's the thing. Eventually, you're going to get up to the top. Eventually, you're going to understand the basics of, of, of the jumping and kinging. Now you'll accomplish it. All we got to do is just keep grinding out that experience. It's like a turn-based RPG or something. It's easy. Would it be possible to jump through the, 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 through the two pillars from underneath? Ah, we did try that earlier, but basically, it is. it has a... The, the thing is that each one of these pillars has like a, uh, there's like a rectangle on top of there and those specifically are there to kind of like, that was not even a good jump at all. Uh, those are like specifically there to kind of like block your, uh, block your ascent through that side. I've given it a couple attempts and it's just like, it, it, there might be a way to do it, but I think it would require more, more difficult like techniques than just, okay, come on, come on, come on. Uh, it, w it would be a more difficult technique than just like figuring out how to do this um how to do this tiny hop at the end of that slide uh how many hours do you have in dead cells hey, let's see oh wait yeah i'm gonna do it, it, it well let's see if i can see it right here um nah, i can't at least not right now have this game on a different Steam account than usual, unfortunately. Why? Ah, it's, it's actually like almost 1,700 hours of, of Dead Cells. It's a lot. It's a good game, and people enjoy watching me play it. Okay. I'm getting kind of tilted, I think. <laughs> yep, definitely. Yep, definitely. Starting to mess up some easy things. How long have we been going? Almost about two hours. Let's hit about the two hour mark and then it's like we will reconvene here later where I probably have like another post commentary video after I figure out how to get through this stuff. Maybe I'll just do or, or depending on how close I am to the end of the game because I'm really not entirely sure. And I'll just go like post like a little uh, post commentary thing right at the end for like, hey, I beat Jump King. Hey, everybody. I did it. Why didn't you start making Isaac content? Ah, because, you know, Dead Cells is like... It, I, I don't know. So many different people make Isaac content. It's like, I do like Binding of Isaac, and I have played it quite a bit on the channel and everything. There's like 40 episodes of Isaac that you can watch, I think, in total. But it's also like, I don't know. I don't... I, don't, I, I feel like, you know, that's a, that's a hard to get into field of... There we are. I did already get Dead God, exactly. And, and you know, it's like, otherwise it is a hard to get into field of... Uh, LPing. A lot of competition. A lot of very good uh, Northern Lion people. Northern Lion. I tried to call the Hero Slayer? Yep. Got a three episode series of it on the channel. Let's see what we got, man. Can I do it? <clears throat> nope. No. Yeah, and I and then I I keep forgetting it's just like I should really be holding a direction to make sure that I that you know. Isaac is kind of a dead horse games. I mean it's just it's just it's a it's a popular it is a popular game to play for uh, LP wise. Ah. Isaac is a good game. I mean, I've gotten Dead God in it, for God's sake. It's like, I think that is. Um, that is. Uh, all the way back to the beginning of the stream, forgetting what direction I need to go. It's gross, but also it's very mechanically complex and has been developed for like more than 10 years. So it's got a lot of content, which I like. There we are. Oh, Castle Perilous or Chapel Ch Chapel Perilous is. It's not difficult to go up, you know, but like you know, it is. It is still an entire experience having to do it over and over, messing up some of the basic jumps, especially as I get tilted and start messing up some of the other more basic jumps. Hmm, frustrating. Well, yeah, I've beaten, I've beaten Skull. Did Skull. I'm going to be doing the Skull weapon in Dead Cells coming up here pretty soon. Uh, tomorrow. And then, um... I guess actually playing the game a little bit more on stream coming up here as well. Eggman McMuffin is one crazy man. He's working on something new, isn't he? There's something else that's going to be. It's Mugenics. No. Uh, but it might be. <laughs> yeah. 
hyped for the Queen's DLC in Dead Cells? I mean, I, we'll see what that is when it comes out, as always. I mean, I never leave, like, paying attention to, like, a, a pre-release sort of, you know, uh, stuff like that. So, you know, it is um, just, like, when it comes out, I will get it, <laughs> needless to say. Okay. Okay. And ochre. Uh, Burger King and his Burger Queen. Mm, Burger King. I'd go for a Whopper right now. Hi. Hello. <laughs> We're playing Jump King. I am not making much progress, I'm going to be honest. And I feel like I'm starting to get kind of tilted. <laughs> you know how that is. Like, I'm messing up some easy jumps here. Which means that in all likelihood, in probably about like the next 15 minutes or so, we're going to call it a day for Jump King. And then I'm either going to just like play through the rest of the game on my own and we'll just do some post-commentary stuff. Or, or conversely, come back here and do another stream of it eventually. Not, probably not going to do a DLC. Is he working on Binding of Isaac 2? Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> Binding of Isaac 2, dead and loving it. Weekend at Isaac's <laughs> Cogmind stream. Well, you didn't. Nobody said any date or time for Cogmind, so no. I should. I should. I mean, it's like you know. I, I picked up uh, Jump King here again to do a little bit more with it. I should go pick up Cogmind again. Try to get like a little bit farther in it. But then again, it's like I also still have so many other series to be doing too. There we are. How about right now? Yeah, we could. I don't know. Maybe. Oh, Burger King is a theocrat. Is he? Under what? The religion of burgers? Yeah. And then once again, I forgot to press buttons. Yes. Oh. Fair enough. <laughs> You're probably more knowledgeable than I am about the subject. Let's be honest. And Burger King is ordained by God hmm. to be the king of burgers. Part personality cult. I mean, that's obvious. Do you think that he dresses and looks that way purely because out of like, you know, some sort of uh, insistence or because he likes it? No, absolutely not. Burger King low key looks like Jesus. No. <laughs> No, I, I cannot. I'm sorry, Chad. I cannot accept that. That is... No. No. <laughs> I... Look, I, I, look, I'm picturing the Burger King right now in my mind's eye. I cannot agree that the Burger King looks like Jesus. <laughs> uh, technically, the buns are still meat. I don't consider plant meat to be meat. It's like, what, what, if I, what if I got, like, an Impossible Burger? That's actually, none of it is meat, then. I actually kind of want to go and try one of the Impossible. I never did that because, of course, like, you know, the plague hit as soon as that, like, became kind of a thing over at Burger King. But now I could probably... Probably get that easy enough. They're actually good. Yeah, I mean, that's that's the thing. It's like, I... Look, hey, yo... I'm 100% down with going vegetarian if you can just create, like, a burger that tastes like a burger. I don't even like ground meats. We talked about that earlier. So it's just like, you know. <gasps> Pog. <laughs> okay, so it is like you gotta... Okay, okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it, everybody. Can't wait for lab-grown meat. Yeah, but the thing is, it's just like nobody knows if it's going to be... I mean, I did it once, but like I said, don't worry. We're going to have to do it a thousand more times for me to actually get it. Uh, it gives you the experience of a burger, but you hate ground meat. That's... What, is it... I mean, that's the thing, though. It's not the perfect experience. It's like 90% there, but that's really good. But uh, anyway, lab-grown meat. Yeah, it's like uh, the, the, expansive, the expensiveness of it. Like, it's possible, but is it... Oh, oh, almost there, almost there. Did turn to into a, did 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 have the the burger come out and I became a cow there for a second, but that's okay. Happens to the best of us. I'm a cowboy, baby. 
most fake meat is just so dry in comparison. I mean, what? That's the whole thing. It's just like, look, I don't care. I don't care if it is lab. 100. I, well, first off, I am 100% down with lab grown meat. I mean, that is just. That's just meat. <laughs> or the one where you send in your own cell cultures and they take make meat from it. No, I'm not going to eat that chat. Are you... Are you suggesting that the future might be self-cannibalism? Self no, no, that's... No, I can't. We can, we, no, we can't do that. I can't. No, I refuse. I, I, I refuse to... I refuse to accept that in my world. But... But it could be. No, 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 no. Look, here's the thing. I'm, I'm not going to... I'm not going to... Look, look, chat, no. We're not... We're not... Chat, I'm not going to eat a hamburger made out of my own flesh. Regardless of how cheap and delicious it is, okay? I don't... We don't... We don't need to resort to that sort of... We don't need to resort to this sort of... We don't need to resort to this sort of this sort of thought process yet. Not yet. Ah. Just d d look. I just it, look if it's possible, and it sounds like it is possible, but it's just like you know. Not gonna do it though. I I. Look, look, we here at Dr. Infernal Firebird's channel take a hard line stance against cannibalism in all of its forms, even sustainable, lab grown human meat cultures, okay? All right. All right? I want to make this absolutely clear for, any, for anybody that has questions on the subject. Ah! No, no, not again. Vor is okay, but cannibalism is not. Uh, it's soft vor. So, you know, they vomit them out afterwards. Yes, it's soft vor. It's not hard vor. Come on, people. There's a difference. You should know this. Do I have to go through the various types of vor again? Anyway. Yeah. Once lab-grown meat becomes sustainable and affordable, I may become vegetarian. I mean, it's like, yeah, why not? It's like, yeah, you know. You know. I mean, that's... It's like, what's, what's the difference then? Right? <laughs> that whole thing. I have cannibalism standards. Look! You have to. It's like... I feel... Look, here's the thing. We're, we're currently approaching... We are currently approaching a future where it's just like we will be able to to get uh, gamer guy hamburgers, and I I won't I'm not going to put those on the market chat. Okay, <laughs> that's not going to be the first Doctor Infernal Firebird merch that you see. Trust me. I don't even I don't even know where I would go. I don't even know who I would talk to to make that happen. Like who would you even approach talking to about that? Anyway, um I know too many people into Fatal War. The fact that you know multiple people into Hard War, it's called Hard War, uh is shocking to me. <laughs> like what sort of crowd are you hanging out with? Where's my Markiplier flavored burger? No, no, chat, again. We at the channel take a hard line stance against this. And by we, I mean, I guess like me and maybe the second guy. I don't know what his, you, I don't know what his stance is on this, but I assume it's probably about the same. I have to explain, no. Anyway. Okay, okay, okay. Anyway. Oh, it's like, yeah. Okay, okay, at least at least I'm starting to actually like get the <sighs> Look, I got it twice here. We can get it again. Call up Tim Duncan and find out. <laughs> no, he's he's the Tim Duncan of soccer. It's 
it's a reference to basketball that I don't understand. And he's explained to me several times, but I still don't understand it. <laughs> I'm a furry. Oh, no, say no more. But uh, some of my interests happen to overlap with Vorophiliacs. Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Look, the the furry thing, the predator and prey thing, it's like is a very obvious extension to a lot of fur. <laughs> Why are we getting into this? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh, damn it. I find four dynamics dumb and four in general. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. It is. It is. It, it, why do you think I talk about it so much? Because it is a hilarious concept. <laughs> Dogs are furry? No! I just think anthropomorphic animals are hot. I'm not a furry. <laughs> Doc is a scaly. I'm not a scaly. I just think anthropomorphic lizards are hot. Okay? Not a scaly, though. Please don't elaborate further. Okay, fine. Wait. What What more would I need to elaborate on there? Mark Zuckerberg would finance a company that grows human cultured meat. I mean, yeah. Hey, man, the metaverse is getting into everything. Once we leave our physical bodies, we won't need them anymore, and that's when we'll be able to consume them. In the virtual world. <laughs> I'm Mark Zuckerberg, and this is the world that I imagine. <laughs> Now then, I'll look forward to my pl full playthrough of Death Trash. <laughs> no, maybe, maybe, eventually. Once that game gets like, a, once that game gets like content complete, maybe. <laughs> Will we still need food? See, that's the confusing thing, and I don't really know if Zuckerberg thought it out that well. But uh, I, I guess I can ask him, considering he uses the same voice as me. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's like Jesus. It's metaphorical. And also literal. Ah! Okay, well. <laughs> oh. You pay to live. <laughs> Look, I'm just saying. Would you donate your cells to become human burgers for consumption? <laughs> They will be hamburgers. Make no mistake on that. You're not going to be human steak. I'm sorry. You might have expected that it's just like, no, I got some good quality marbled meat. And I do. But uh, no, it's going to be burgers. I'm sorry. Would Doc make out with Yoshi? With a giant tongue? He would like suffocate you. Okay. Ugh, sure, I want to taste the meat version of myself. Hey, again, we take a hardline stance against cannibalism on the channel. What is wrong with you people? Steak or bust? I'm sorry, no. That's not... It's not going to happen, Chad. You're not going to... Like, you're... You are not, like, USD grade A quality person. I, I know that you might think of yourself as such, but you're a gamer. You're not. If you're here, you're a gamer. I'm wagyu. You... Yeah, look, I'm very marbled myself, but it's just like, actually, probably like a little bit too much. But still, it's like it's not gonna. Uh, that's not the sort of person that. No, I just had the realization that I was talking about um, that I was talking about somebody eating me, and I had to, the the horror spread across my mind to a degree that uh, it kind of made me me uh, lose lose my ability to speak for a couple seconds. <laughs> Okay, anyway. I'm very lean. I like to think I taste like shitty deer jerky. I like shitty deer jerky. That's it's I my my dad always would go hunting and and make that and it's actually pretty bussin'. I'm not gonna lie. Crumbly, but like it tastes great. But anyway, um ah. You know you'd love it waking up to somebody sucking barbecue sauce off your toes. Chat. 
I mean, yeah, it's like, is, isn't the whole thing that, like, uh, uh, carnivores and omnivores have a very gamey taste to them? Which is, you know, like a very vague sort of culinary term. No, we have to stop to... Why, why, why is this turning into so much cannibalism talk? This is supposed to be your dad watches anime for the first time. Now it's just all about cannibalism. <laughs> we've just, we've just, it's just, why is my chat just turned into cannibalism <laughs> podcast? <laughs> this is not what I envisioned when I started up the stream. Anyway. Oh, work at a cafe connected to a butcher so we see lots of game animals being processed, plus we serve up elk burgers. Oh, yeah. I've worked at, I've worked at like a butcher place before. It was, um, it was just like Sam's Club type of thing, so it's not like we got full animals in there, but... Uh, it's still do like, you know, cutting up of the, the individual parts of, uh, like get, get, you know, a full, uh, what, what do you call like large part of an animal and then you would cut it into individual parts sort of, sort of thing. Like we take the bone saw to it is what I'm saying. Cannibalism is based. <laughs> After I keep constantly saying. No, we're not doing the cannibalism thing. Chat, we're not a chat. Chat, I'm telling you again, we're not going to talk about the specifics of cannibalism in this stream. I swear to God. What would be the best cut of the person? Probably like the thighs. <laughs> Any chat. Actually, it would probably be like the stomach area or something. Ah! 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 Why work there? I. Cause you need a job. <laughs> oh, depends on if their glutes are well developed. It's hard to say. Cause it's just like you do have a lot of uh, you do have a lot of fat on your your thighs as well as like you know. You, Fucking! Oh my god, it's we have to. No, stop talking about cannibalism. Stop it. We could get we could get G fuel made with real gamers. No, although. <laughs> um. Anyway. Oh. There we go. There we go. And the funny thing is I'm fairly certain that we also talked about cannibalism the last time that I was playing Jump King 2. Oh. Ah. Man. I really love to rely exclusively on lab-grown meat, but that's not going to be for several decades, so I don't have any qualms working there. Yeah, I know. It's just like, yeah, like I was saying, I, I am 100% down with uh, going into the plant, uh, plant, plant meat, grown future, or lab-grown. Whatever. Yeah, either one works for me. Do a combination of the two or something. Just do it. Yeah, this is implying that all that weight is genetic. For what? <laughs> Ah. No, I can guarantee you all of my weight is 100% uh, like American pizza grown. Do you want, do you want, do you want like a, yes, American pizza fed human meat? Well, Dr. Inferno Firebird has you covered. <laughs> well, the gameplay of Jump King does lead very directly to cannibalism. Jump King's thighs must be the size of a whole hog. Oh yeah, he's got to be like... He's got to be like nigh on microscopic compared to the size of his fucking glutes, just alone. I would not eat Jump King, though, by the way, because I don't, I do not condone cannibalism in any form. Why do you people keep trying to? Why do people? <laughs> okay. Uh, cool American ranch flavor. Oh yeah, you would. You, uh, like, here's the thing. It's like you would, like, yo, if you tried to cook and eat me, I would already be stuffed with like cheese and ranch sauce, as it were. I would be delicious. <laughs> um, once again, the realization of the words that I'm currently saying are are hitting me, and I'm kind of horrified. 
Oh. Ah, I gotta stop pressing the button. Can I have a sample? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. This is this is this, sir, sir. This is Twitch. <laughs> We're gonna have to go to a different website for that. <laughs> oh yeah, but I really did it. No, oh, no, I didn't screw it up. No, wait, I did it again. <laughs> <sighs> okay. <laughs> All right. So it is not like full jump, or maybe it is. Uh, yeah, no, it is. Yeah. Yeah, I'm back down again. That's okay, though. I made a pretty good, uh... We got it. Mostly. <laughs> oh. Jump up in there. Yeah, so it's like, basically, you're not supposed to press right as soon as you're falling down. You're supposed to press right after you make the jump, and then you're trying to course correct. Ooh. Because that is... Because otherwise, it's just like, yeah, you jump too... You jump too small for that. Okay. Got it. God gamer. God gamer for now. Oh, although I did say, like, after two hours, I'm going to stop. Ah, just keep going. Or maybe I should stop just to, like, try and halt this conversation before it continues anymore. Go get a burger, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a turducken? It's like, no, I'm not eating meat. I'm just eating mostly cheese and ranch sauce. This is this is like a very standard type of uh, type of preparation, like a cordon bleu, if anything. And even then, that has meat in it. So, like you know, two hours for one jump. No, I got all the way up here. For otherwise, first two. Going the entirety of Cap Castle uh, Chapel Perilous is is also included here, and now we got like the hardest jump in Blue Ruin, obviously. Bruh, that's okay though. A burger from the king, yes, the king burger himself. <laughs> Not that I would eat that. I'm not, I, I, we're not, look, we've got a long way to go before we have to resort to that sort of cannibalism, Chad, come on. Some shawarma, well, I mean, yeah, it's like if you want to go like full on uh, shawarma or gyro, whatever sort of stuff, it's like you can just, you know, that is also a way to prepare meat, it's a, it's a ground meat style type stuff. On a scale of 1 to 10, how hot is Susie from Deltarune? Isn't she like 13 years old? If that... 2022 is the year of the cannibal. This is the year where we finally break the seal, everybody. Cannibalism is back on the menu. What do you mean, back? Ah, uh, well, I'm, um, you know. <laughs> Not that anybody here condones cannibalism. She was 14 the first chapter, but it's been long, like four years. Okay, now come on. Yeah, I tell you. Now, if you want to talk about Toriel, oh, man. <laughs> Imagine a world where you can live 20 years and all the luxuries you want, but then you become meat for humanity. No, you're not becoming meat for humanity. We're talking about artificial. Artificial lab-grown meat based off of your cell cultures. I have too much tutorial porn. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Should have known that it was going to go right there, wasn't it? Okay, okay, okay. We don't condone it. We're just discussing possible dishes using human meat. We don't condone actual cannibalism. 
here on the Doc Firebird channel. Once again, I need to make that absolutely clear. Back to the cannibalism cast. Oh, boy. The What's Eating You cast. Starring Dr. Inferno Firebird, unwillingly. Today we're going to discuss what's eating Gilbert Grape and how it had little to do with cannibalism. <laughs> Join me for, for this prestige podcast. Ah! <sighs> Might as well do a topic. <laughs> podcast of taboo topics. No, I refuse. I feel like taboo topics would very quickly turn into bad. You can do it. Put your mind to it. Oh my god. Well. Back to it, baby. Just pop it, baby. Just pop the booty, baby. <laughs> Back to the twerk cast starring Dr. Infernal Firebird. Anyway, um, would you rather talk about cannibalism or furry porn? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no. This is what my life has become. <laughs> Some human hot dogs. I told you I'm not going to eat hot dogs in any form. Especially not human ones. Oh, eyeballs could be a tasty snack. Well prepared. I don't know. I've never really had an eyeball before uh, in any way. So I can't really talk to how tasty that could possibly be. Eyeballs are weird. They're too complex. You can't, you can't look at an eyeball and be like, also look very similar between animals. Mexico, we have eye tacos. Eh, eh. The electronic tacos produced by Apple. Brej. <laughs> I feel like I should just call the stream here and end it. And I'm going to put this up on YouTube. And people are going to be like, holy Christ. <laughs> It's a stream. <laughs> That's a stream, baby. Hey, did you ever watch the Jump King streams the Doctor Inferno Firebird did? What? What do you mean? No, I haven't. Uh, I don't know if I can keep watching him at past this point. <laughs> oh well. Anyway, God, it's been like two hours. I'm clearly getting tilted. Let's just let's let's end it here. <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stop it. I'm gonna stop the stream. Here's a picture of a turtle. Oh yeah, that's not a picture of a turtle anymore. That's a picture of me. <laughs> that's not a picture of me. That's a picture of I think like Jack Nicholson or something. <laughs> but still. <laughs> I feel like it is once again appropriate for the for the conversation, if nothing else. <laughs> just put a warning that it gets extremely weird. No, I refuse. <laughs>